Professor Daniel Bartal, a political psychologist, is an emeritus professor, and I spent uh, 50 years studying conflicts in general, but especially Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Wrote uh, many books, 25, and uh, published about 300 papers. Got all the awards that it's possible to get for my academic work. You were born 1946. Six, right. Why is it so important for you to present the German translation of your current book about uh, Israel? Yes, because I am a child of Holocaust in many respects. My mother and uh, all her family, uh, she escaped to Soviet Union. My aunt went through Holocaust, as you would say, survived, but uh, all my family are in Treblinka, ashes, you know, really uh, siblings, cousins, and I was left, you know, when I was born, I never had a grandparent. So it left on me a very important influence. I am interested in Holocaust, read about, and I thought, watching what is going on in, in Germany, the Germans don't understand the responsibility, in my opinion, uh, with regard to Jews. They think that by protecting Jews, because uh, they uh, accomplish terrible things, I think that on the contrary, they have to fight together with people like me and with the doves of Israel for human rights, for freedom, for justice. And it's extremely important that Palestinians will be freed from occupation. So you think that we have an, a responsibility as Germans because yes, of the you Holocaust? Have. You have a special responsibility. You say never again, right? Exactly. What does it mean, never again? Never again means that it should not happen again. But how? It has to happen when you will teach your generation and my generation in Israel that what is important are democratic values and not really stronger Israel. Stronger Israel with moral disengagement. Israelis don't care about morality. Don't care. They have what is called moral entitlement because what we, we experience as being victims it allows us today to do atrocities and all other uh, violation of human rights, and it's wrong, it's wrong. I think that the Israeli generation of people should learn about democracy, and they don't learn. You served in the Israeli Defense Forces. Yes, you, you I defended was. your country in three wars: in the Lebanon War, in the Yom Kippur War, yes, in the Six Day yes, War, and Six Day War. What? I was, you know, part of the Israeli society, but always I thought about uh, the liberal parts of the uh, society. My mother was extremely important person for me and she taught me values of liberalism, values of human rights, values of freedom and equality and justice, and I got it from her. So I carry this fight and trying to illuminate the situation because Israel is doing a lot of propaganda in, around the world and inside Israel and bring uh, scholarly written books that illuminate very much what is going on in Israel. And what did you personally learn from your experience in the Israeli Defense Forces? So the uh, occupation is wrong. So the occupation is really leading to violence. All the countries that were occupied, all of them, 
in South America, in Asia, in Africa, in Europe, of course, this leads to violence, to terrorism. And we, of course, I am for human life and I oppose terrorism, but I understand why Palestinians use terror, weak side uses terror, and Israel is using terror as well through the army and through state terror. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.